And as you settle in, read a poem from Lynn Unger, who's a Unitarian Universalist minister. Some of you know that that's my faith tradition. And so certainly one of the resources that I draw on is that community. And this is called Pandemic. What if you thought of it as the Jews consider the Sabbath the most sacred of times? Cease from travel, cease from buying and selling. Give up just for now on trying to make the world different than it is. Sing, pray, touch only those to whom you commit your life. Center down. And when your body has become still, reach out with your heart. Know that we are connected in ways that are terrifying and beautiful. You could hardly deny it now. Know that our lives are in one another's hands. Surely that has come clear. Do not reach out your hands, reach out your heart, reach out your words, reach out all the tendrils of compassion that move invisibly where we cannot touch. Promise this world your love for better or for worse in sickness and in health, as long as we all shall live. And so just taking a nice big wide breath in, wide and filling top to bottom, front to back, side to side. And then as you exhale, let yourself soften into the support that's there. But, and you might try that again, a nice big wide breath in. And then an exhale to soften. Feel those points of contact. Let yourself soften into that support. Yield the body. Go ahead one more time. Big wide breath in. Exhaling to release. Let go. Let go into that support. Yield the weight. Good. And then letting the breath be just what it is, moving in and out. And just feeling the backs of the eyes soften and the eyes sink back into the sockets. You could imagine them like two pebbles in a pond. And as they drop, you feel these rings of relaxation, these expanding circles over the eyebrows and down through the temples and over the tops of the cheeks and into the bridge of the nose. And feeling the forehead soften and smooth and the hairline and then the hinge of the jaw and the jaw. And feeling the mouth soften and the lips touch, maybe gently, but the teeth might part. And you might feel the tongue soften down into the base of your mouth. Good. And you can't do this wrong. So if your mind starts to wander off to the stories of the past or the future, you can just bring it back to the sound of my voice. You don't need to catch up. And so just listening in as you feel the weight of your head soften down into the support. And you might notice your scalp loosening its grip on your skull. And as you let go of the weight of your head, you might feel your spine starting to respond. So from the base of the skull all the way down, the neck, the upper back, mid back, and the low back, you might notice the muscles starting to loosen their grip. And so warming and softening, releasing the weight of the bones towards the earth. Good. The breath is so easy, just moving in and out. 
I'm just feeling a sense of warmth and ease over the shoulders, maybe imagining a loved one just needing any tension out of the shoulders. And then feeling that warmth move down your chest, your upper back, maybe under your shoulder blades, in between the ribs, but right in through the shoulder joints, all the way across the full shoulder girdle. You feel that warmth kind of moving down and into the muscles as the muscles soften all the way down the arms. You might feel the weight of the arm bones get heavy. You might feel a sense of ease moving into the joints, the shoulder, the elbows, the wrists. You feel that sense of warmth and comfort. Just keep moving down your arms. But maybe you just invite it into your hands, in the web of your hands. I'm feeling the muscles soften and your hands take a natural gesture of comfort. So maybe there's a rounding there, a receptivity. I'm just feeling the field of sensation from the tips of your fingers all the way back up to your shoulders. And letting the breath be nice and easy in and out. And if at any point the breath changes patterns, that's okay. If you want to bring in a few more nice big wide breaths in and slow breaths out, that can be really nice and soothing. Go ahead. And as you let go of the weight of the body and the worries and the stress, and just softening your low back and your belly, maybe releasing and warming through the hip sockets. And you might send a feeling of comfort and ease down through the muscles of the legs. I'm just feeling the muscles of the legs start to soften and the bones of the legs starting to get heavy as they sink towards the earth. Go ahead. So all the gripping is gone. Muscles are completely at rest. And you can invite that sense of comfort and ease to move down your joints, your hips, your knees, your ankles, and all the way into the feet. The feet are so intricate, so feeling it's run through all those little muscles and bones, letting your feet soften, releasing the grip of the toes. And then feeling that field of sensation from the tips of the toes all the way up to the hips. And feeling the torso as well and then imagining that whole body, your whole body here as a field of sensation. Good. Noticing, honoring, the body, as the breath moves in and out with ease. As the mind gets quieter and quieter. And the heart is invited into that space of open, easy comfort. And it's okay just to let go.